Humans have relied on the wind to propel their boats and ships for thousands of years. But when there was no wind, they only had their own muscle power. To cross an ocean, they would need more. With the development of steam power in the Industrial Revolution, the energy stored and hidden in coal or oil was harnessed and could be turned into power to move things. Humans could now travel and transport things anywhere and whenever they wanted. Your challenge today is to harness the energy you can store in a rubber band to move a cargo boat that you will make from an old plastic bottle or recycled food container. When you store energy in a rubber band, it is called elastic potential energy. For this activity, you will need a nice clear space to work, some scissors and a ruler. You can use old plastic bottles or food tubs for the hull of your boat and pieces of recycled plastic or lolly stick to make paddles or propellers. You will need some small sticks or rods to act as propeller shafts, but could use pens or pencils for those. You should pick a rubber band that is around 10 centimetres long when unstretched and about 5 millimetres thick. If you only have thinner or shorter rubber bands, you can combine them to make them similar. You will need a good sized bowl of water to test your rubber band cargo boat. A bath or a large tub is ideal. It should be big enough so that your boat can travel forward at least 20 centimetres. You will need a stopwatch to time your cargo boat. This could be an app on a phone. Make sure you keep anything electronic away from the water though and ask for help if needed. Finally, you will need some cargo. 250 grams of small stones or gravel would be ideal, but you could use glass beads or plastic toys that you don't mind getting wet. You could use a beam balance if you've made one to weigh this. Check your bottle or tub you want to use is big enough to float with your cargo in. You can store energy in a rubber band by twisting it. You can use the twist to grip and hold a paddle. Here is an example of a boat made using a twisted rubber band. The rubber band is held with two rods attached to the hull. You can also stretch and wrap a rubber band around a rod or shaft to store energy. When the rubber band unwraps, it will turn the propeller shaft and any paddles attached to it. This design uses a stretched rubber band wrapped around the propeller shaft. The rubber band has been cut to make it longer. You are allowed to do this. When you have a working rubber band cargo boat loaded with 250 grams of cargo, it's time to test it. Find some water big and deep enough for your boat to travel at least 20 centimetres to a finish line. Store the energy in the rubber band and start timing when you release it. Stop when the boat reaches the finish line. You will have a time. Keep a good record. Experiment with different shapes of hull and propeller system. Your first design may not be the best. Which hull shapes might cut through the water better? Test different ones. You want to find the most efficient design, the one that can use the energy stored in the rubber band the best. To get our final score, we will need to work out the average speed of your boat. A higher average speed is better. To do this, we divide the distance it travelled, in the last test it was 20 centimetres, by the time it took in seconds. You can use a calculator if you want. This will give you an average speed in centimetres per second, and that is your score.